Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. Today we are taking a look at the Age of Apocalypse Marvel Legends Cyclops figure from obviously Wave 2 of the Age of Apocalypse figures. Now he comes with absolutely zero accessories except for of course the Colossus Builder figure leg. But I'm going to put that aside and have a look at the Builder figure at a later date. Let's just focus on the figure itself. Now he is built on the standard Bucky mould. So the actual torso and the legs and the boots etc are from the Bucky mould. But having a look at his head it is a really nice original sculpt that represents that age of apocalypse look really well with the one eye open on his visor and the hair down over the other eye uh, it's really quite nice i mean the hairline's a little bit far back but nothing to really complain about now the arms look like they are a new mold because they are pinless so they are new arms on the bucky mold as you can see there is no pins there and he's got his big old gauntlets and his kind of shoulder pad and his big belt as well. But the body itself is one that we've seen many times before and has been used on pretty much every version of Cyclops that we had. The actual detailing on his accessory here is really nice. There's a lot of weathering and kind of scratches and stuff. And the Bucky mold comes with all the articulation that you would expect. Now I'm not going to go into detail about the character Cyclops in the comic book because you really do have to read it just to see just how deep his story is. Um, but obviously we all know that we've got Nate Grey, which is X-Man, as his son in the comic books as well. The reason I mention that is because I'm going to circle back to that in a little bit. But as a figure, he is really quite cool. He's definitely one that I wanted to get my hands on. I love the Age of Apocalypse story. I love the comic books. And I just thought Cyclops' comic just looked really cool. It's a real shame that we haven't got a couple of additional hands or maybe even a push an additional head or some blast effects or something because unfortunately he does just feel a little bit standard. He is just what he is. There's nothing flashy. There's nothing extra. It's just the figure as he is out of the box. But it's Age of Apocalypse Cyclops, so I can't really complain. Now, if I just stand him up here, I'm going to pull in a couple of other versions. Now, we've had loads of Cyclops over the years, so I'm only going to pull in three others just to compare him to. Uh, probably three of my favourites. So if I just get him stood up, there we go. Now, the first one that I'm going to pull in is an obvious choice. It's the 80s look. Now, this came with some really cool blast effects. Now, the reason I mentioned Nate Grey earlier is because, obviously, this is the costume that he that he does pass down to Nate in one of the stories. Uh, we've also got the Phoenix 2-pack, the kind of older version of his comic. Now this is a really sought after one and he's one of my favorites. And then of course we've got the Juggernaut Wave, uh, classic kind of 90s look. Now we did get an updated version of this one in the 3-pack with the jacket. But if you look at them back to back, uh, the Age of Apocalypse one unfortunately comes up a little bit short. Now I don't know if it's just the way that I've got him positioned because the bodies are the standard Bucky mold bodies. But for some reason, because of maybe the hair, maybe the neck, or even maybe the peg that they use, um, he's coming up just a tad bit shorter than the others. But considering they're all technically the same character, you wouldn't necessarily have them kind of stood next to each other in any other circumstance except for obviously display purposes. I mean you put him side by side by other versions of the costume he doesn't really stand out as being short he just looks quite awesome. Now the Age of Apocalypse obviously just screamed 90s with the big hairdos and the kind of over the top costumes and I think that the guys at Marvel Legends have captured that really well um, so I'm really not complaining. Obviously recently they've announced that they're retiring the Bucky mold and they're going to be using the uh, new Vulcan sculpt that they announced at the uh, Hasbro PulseCon. So it'll be interesting to see what Cyclops characters we get on this particular mold, on this new mold. And also how these earlier versions stand up next to it. But for the time being, I really don't have many complaints. The only one would be if we could have maybe got a couple of hands, maybe a different colour, so we could have got some like black gloves so that we could maybe swap them out because in the comic books, if my memory serves me right, they were black or at least a much darker blue. So it would have been nice to get some kind of alternate hands, maybe like the kind of visor pressing fingers that we've had with pretty much every other Cyclops, or maybe even just sort of come clip on blast effects similar to that of the 80s costume although those ones were attached to the actual head sculpt. Or maybe even just an alternate head sculpt with sort of the hair in a bit more of a action pose. But all in all, he's a really cool figure, one that I'm definitely pleased that they've released and one that I wanted to add to the Age of Apocalypse setup, so I'm pretty pleased if I'm honest. So yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about him, um, unfortunately, because he doesn't have the accessories. But all in all, a very welcome addition to the Age of Apocalypse line. 
If you're enjoying the five minute figure reviews, please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. Um, obviously I have done some of the other figures in the wave as well, so do check out my channel for those reviews as well. So yeah, in closing, great sculpt, great figure, um, excellent character choice. Disappointed we didn't have a couple of extra accessories, but all in all very pleased. See you soon. <laughs>